a final messenger to be sent, preparing Christ's way to come again as John the Baptist 2,000 years ago. A final messenger of God will very soon be sent to prepare Christ's way to come, just as John the Baptist prepared the Lord's way at his first coming to the world as our Savior to bring deliverance, redemption, and salvation, to deliver all humanity from the wickedness and evil of great abhorrent sin, iniquity, and abominable abominations. However, this man of God will prepare the world for the Lord to come three times in soon time. First, to save Israel in a great war which has already begun in its initial stages. Second, to institute the great gathering together or catching away known as the rapture of Messiah's true believing ecclesia congregation or church. Third, to come again in what the, in what the church knows as the second coming to vanquish sin, iniquity, and abomination, to bring righteousness to the world, and to rule and reign for a thousand years. As written regarding John the Baptist, In those days John the Baptist came preaching in the wilderness of Judea and sang, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he who was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. Now John himself was clothed in camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and his food was locusts and wild honey. Then Jerusalem, all Judea, and all the region around the Jordan went out to him and were baptized by him in the Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to his baptism, he said to them, Broad of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Therefore, bear fruits worthy of repentance, and do not think to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. For I say to you that God is able to raise up children to Abraham from these stones. And even now the axe is laid to the root of the trees, Therefore, every tree which is, does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. But he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand and he will thoroughly clean out his threshing floor and gather his wheat into the barn. But he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. And John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and are you coming to me? But Jesus answered and said to him, Permit it to be so now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all unrighteousness. Then he allowed him. When he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting upon him. Matthew chapter 3 verses 1 through 16. Interestingly, there is a great mystery yet to be fulfilled concerning about Jesus' baptism by John at that time long ago, which denotes an extremely significant future event which will astound the world. Nevertheless, as John the Baptist prepared the way before Christ immediately preceding him, John the Apostle succeeded the Lord, conveying that Christ would return, preparing the way before him to return in two days, which analogically speaking would be 2,000 years. Now, 
very soon coming will be a great servant of God who will prepare the way for the lion of the tribe of Judah. Coming as the conquering king and not the suffering lamb as he originally came. And indeed, there is a day, date, and time specified for this messenger to come forth, as well as for the Lord to return, just as is written elsewhere in the Holy Scriptures denoting in time tribulational events. For example, as written, Then the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the sixth angel who had the trumpet, Release the four angels who are bound at the great river Euphrates. So the four angels who had been prepared for the hour and day and month and year were released to kill a third of mankind. Revelation chapter 9 verses 13 through 15. Nevertheless, this servant comes as a judge, bold and outspoken, full of godly courage, wisdom and fortitude. Although he is a kind and loving man of God, he shall not be meek, but shall greatly preach the everlasting gospel, fulfill the great commission, and convey the blessed hope of the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ to rule and reign across the earth. This messenger comes preparing the way for the very soon coming of the Lion King and comes in like kindness to the Messiah, who comes to judge this time, professing the law, the prophets, and furthermore greatly preaching and professing hell, fire, and brimstone, but with the grace of Christ for those who believe, as well as those who will soon believe and enter into tribulation. For Christ will come to rule and reign with a rod of iron for those who question and disobey him, but a staff of comfort to those who love and obey him. Therefore, go forth to preach the great gospel of Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the King of kings and Lord of lords. End of message. Thusly says the Almighty Lord God has spoken and written this day, date, and time of Monday, the 5th of February, 2024, at 11.52 a.m. American Eastern Daylight Time. Tampa Bay, Florida, the United States of America, the place where my godly holy name is meticulously and awesomely engraved. For these declaratory words have been signed, sealed, and delivered on this date of publishing, and shall come to pass to be fulfilled either in immediate imminency or soon thereafter, even in the days, weeks, months, or years directly or close ahead. Thereby speaks the Lord Creator God, the Lord Yahweh God Jehovah, the one true and living God, published for Monday, the 15th of April, 2024.